Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can build your confidence as an engineer. So let's get started. So in previous videos, I kind of gone over a little bit on why I majored in computer engineering and what it's like to be a female engineer. And some of those things that I mentioned in those videos were kind of along the lines of not feeling very confident when going into a room full of um, other engineers and other students who were mostly male and in some cases older who knew the material and was going back to get that degree in order to maybe advance in their in their position or in their career uh, so it was very intimidating and I did, did mention that a couple of times but this video is going to address how to overcome that lack of confidence and how to be more self-assured and self-confident on what you're doing and what you know as well as what degree you want to get and what job you want to get uh, just in general as a engineer so uh, yeah we're just going to get into it and I hope you guys find this helpful and useful so if you're having any doubts about your degree or about what you're doing I really hope this video helps you in that department so we're going to get started the first thing to realize is that all other students in the class that you're taking um, are taking it for a reason. Uh, no one else knows that information and that's the point of taking the class is so that you learn that material and if you see other students who may know the answer to a particular question that the professor asks or knows the answer to a homework assignment that doesn't mean they know all of the answers and that they're smarter than you or anything like that. That just means that they happen to understand that part of the material that the professor is teaching. Also, who knows how long it took them to understand the material. Maybe they already had previous experience in that area. Maybe they took a lot more time studying that material before they explain that answer to you. So you shouldn't compare yourself to them and be like, okay, well, shoot, I'm going to fail this class because this person knows X, Y, Z, and I don't know anything. I don't even understand what the professor is saying right now. It's, it's all gibberish to me. That's why you got to ask the professor questions and even the TA questions. Um, ask them questions on anything that you don't know about or even Google it. You know, a simple Google search will probably give you the answers to half of the questions that you have. So just make sure that you keep in mind that, okay, yes, you are there and there are other people there who may know the information or may know the answers, but that doesn't mean they're any smarter than you are and that you should not compare yourself to them. So the next piece of advice that I have and am still learning and still working on is if you are thinking about doing something or you're thinking about answering a question that the professor asked, whatever it is, just do it. Don't uh, get stuck in the analysis. That's what they call the analysis paralysis. Don't overanalyze anything. And if you want to make progress and do better and be better and perform better, then just go and do those things that help you uh, achieve those goals. So for example, uh, you want to present and you want to speak better. I am, I'm personally for me, I struggle with this a lot. I feel very uncomfortable when I'm presenting and I feel like I'm not even explaining anything right and I feel really dumb when I try to explain something and I feel like I'm not actually getting through to the audience if I don't get any replies and I just feel very uncomfortable and just unsure of myself. What's helped me with that is to just do it. Don't overthink it. Um, whenever I have to present, I just think, okay, I gotta review the material. This is all the material I know. I'm reviewing it right now and then I'm going to just present what I know and um, just don't look at the audience and that's something that I keep in mind is just uh, focus on what I'm actually presenting and not on the audience. So that's one thing that I do is just, you know, don't think about what you're going to do, just do it. Uh, so that's, that's just one other thing. So if you have a question that you have to ask the professor, don't overthink it and think, oh no, he's going to think I'm dumb for asking this. Uh, I may be wrong. What if I'm wrong and other people laugh? Who cares? Just raise your hand and ask the question. And who knows, maybe other students had that same question and you just help them out by um, answering their question as well. So a lot of good can come from just doing things and not overthinking it. So the next thing that helped me gain my confidence and I think that will help you is to realize that you're always going to be learning, especially in engineering. Um, there's nothing that's going to be the same exact thing. That's basically our job title is just fixing problems. So you should never ever expect to know everything and to know 
everything as the same thing as it was. So uh, if you don't know something, don't feel bad, don't feel down on yourself because that's what that's what's expected. You are expected to not know things and then figure out how to solve those unknown things. That's the whole point of engineering. So next time you don't know something, just think, okay, well, I don't know this, but what steps can I take to help me figure this out or to help me understand it and then go from there. Just don't beat yourself up about it. And I am still working on this as well. There are a lot of things that I don't know and I feel, you know, really bad when I when I don't know it because I may give someone some misinformation because I don't understand it myself and I don't know it. So I just, I feel really bad and I feel like I should know it, but at the same time I realize, well, I was never exposed to it before, so how could I have known it? Um, and so it, it just give yourself a break when it comes to that. When there's anything that you don't know, just think to yourself, okay, I've, I've never known, I've never been taught this, I've never actually done this, so it's okay that I don't know it. Uh, that's expected and all I have to do now is just figure out how to understand it and how to fix it. So the next piece of advice that I have, which is to, to keep in mind that no one really knows anything. The problems are problems because no one knows how to figure it out and so we're there to figure that out. We're just kind of just going and, and trying to fix things and do things uh, the best to our ability with our previous education. We make a decision on how we can solve this and we do it and if that doesn't work, shoot, well we'll try a different method that we thought of and see if that'll work. And then we'll just keep trying until we actually get the problem solved. As long as you're trying and you're putting in the effort and you're trying to solve that problem, that's all we can ask for and that's all engineers you know could ask for i am still struggling with this as well I, I still have moments where i feel kind of down and i feel as though i shouldn't be there because i don't know as much as you know other people who've been there for 10 years but at the same time i think to myself well i, I just started and i am still learning and that's the whole point is that i don't have those previous 10 years of experience yet. And even if I did, there's still gonna be times where I don't know certain things. And that's what's happened to other engineers who have worked there for 10 plus years. They still don't know particular applications or particular software tools or anything like that. Uh, because everything is changing, everything is developing, and there's always new problems to be solved. That's just something to keep in mind uh, when you are a student as well as when you are an engineer. And the last one to help with your confidence or self-esteem is to focus on the things that you did get right and that you do know. If, for example, you take a test and you end up getting an A or a B, then acknowledge that A plus or that B and realize that, okay, you know that material and you learn that material. And it's definitely not easy material that you learned. So just take that into consideration and acknowledge that you did well on that test and give yourself credit for that. Try not to ruin the good grade on that test by thinking that, oh, you had to study more than everyone else in the class, or that you had to go out of your way and ask the professor and the TA uh, what this information meant. Just realize that, hey, I tried and I worked my butt off to do this, and this is the result of that. It doesn't matter how you learned it, it doesn't matter how long it took you to learn it, the point is, is that you learned it, and that's all that matters. Same with working on projects as an engineer. If you are working on this massive project, and there's just problem after problem that you just can't figure out, or you hit a wall or a roadblock, whatever it may be, this has happened to me many times, and it's still happening to me, um, and you reach out to someone and you, you ask for their advice and to help you debug um, and you do get a little part of that problem working especially after spending hours and hours trying to figure out that problem just having a one little part of that that project or that you know software program working is amazing and you should definitely acknowledge it and be happy about that and be like okay yeah I solved that. I got that working. So take little breaks to acknowledge all of the good grades that you got and all the accomplishments you've made. This will help motivate you in continuing to do the work or continuing to go to that next class or taking that next test or doing that next project because you'll be more confident in what you can do rather than what you can't do. And just having that knowledge really helps with your confidence and your uh, self-esteem. I hope you guys liked this video and you found it helpful and useful and if you did, please let me know in the comment section down below and if you have any other personal experience with this um, as a student or as an engineer currently then please give some examples I'm sure um, the other viewers would love to read it as well and might benefit from it so yeah I hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching bye